And then we're gonna shoot there just like that. Very good. No hands on no hands on the table. Ready, one, two, three. Go. Oh, so close, Bryce. So close. Good job. The Johnson house is full of testosterone. Four boys. Baron is 17. Chase is 10. Gage is 7. And Bryce is 5. Four months ago, the all-male streak was broken. Baby Ava arrived, but not by chance. We wanted a, a girl, and we did what we had to do to have a daughter. The Johnsons chose gender selection. Nolana says she went to the only fertility clinic in Texas that offers it, the Share Institute in Dallas. We've done hundreds and hundreds of uh, cycles. I haven't had uh, one give us the wrong gender. Dr. Walid Saleh could almost guarantee them a girl. Through in vitro fertilization, egg cells are fertilized by sperm in a lab. After three days of growth in this incubator, the embryos are then taken out. They are then biopsied, and at that point, doctors can tell how many girl and how many boy embryos they have. Comparative Genomic Hybridization, or CGH, tests all 23 chromosomes in the DNA. Hereditary disorders, birth defects, and yes, gender can all be revealed, allowing the mother to pick which embryo or embryos to transfer back into her body. When they called us that morning, they said you have four girls and two boys. And I was very excited about that. Nolana says doctors transferred three girl embryos. One to, and that was Miss Ava. Dr. Soleil says more of his patients want to select the sex of their child, now 20% of IVF cycles in his practice. Couples pay between ten and $15,000. Science is out ahead of ethics and out ahead of law all the time. Tom Mayo, the director of the McGuire Center for Ethics and Public Responsibility at SMU, questions the practice. Ethically speaking, is this okay? Yeah, I think that the consensus is that um, it's potentially problematic, that it does raise serious ethical issues, but the balance so far favors um, autonomy on the part of the parents in making reproductive decisions that work for them. Mayo says time often changes minds. The technology will move even further. Um, the numbers will increase. Our comfort level will probably increase over time and we'll move on to other issues. To people who disagree with his practice, Dr. Soleil says this. Number one, I don't make those babies. The miracle of life is the same. They are boys or girls uh, on their own. The only thing we are doing is freezing uh, the boys and transferring the girls or vice versa. Dr. Soleil says he denies people who want a boy or a girl for cultural reasons. His rule, you must already have at least one child at home. You can then select the opposite sex. He calls it family balancing. Through rebalancing, you maintain the 50-50 ratio between men and women and that's really what's important, I think, for society. Are you ready to go night-night? Nolana Johnson isn't just a mom, she's a nurse. She says choosing to have this little girl was a thoughtful process. I believe in God, and I believe in science, and I think they work together. I can't imagine anybody looking at Ava and saying, this was bad, this was something bad, you shouldn't have done this. Nolana hopes that by talking about it, she isn't judged but can help other families yearning for that girl or that boy. If we can help another family, I want to help another family. So this is, this is amazing.